Hi, I'm Nikki Jabor, and today I want to talk about pruning tomato plants. There are many reasons to prune tomatoes, but for me, it's all about increasing yield and reducing diseases. The approach to pruning depends on two things, the types of tomatoes you're growing and how you support the plants. There are two types of tomatoes, determinate and indeterminate. Determinate, or bush tomatoes, don't need to be pruned. The plants grow to a predetermined height, and when they reach that height, they set their flowers and fruits. If you remove the tomato suckers from determinant plants, you're decreasing the amount of fruits you'll get. Indeterminate tomatoes or vining tomatoes can grow tall, up to six or seven feet tall, and are typically supported on stakes, trellises, or sturdy cages. Indeterminant plants benefit from pruning. Pruning tomatoes is generally about removing suckers. These are the side shoots that grow from the angle where a leaf of a tomato plant meets the stem. Suckers do produce flowers and fruits, but allowing all the suckers to grow results in a dense, overgrown plant that's hard to support and, due to lack of airflow, is more prone to diseases. And all of that shade in the middle of the plant can also slow down the ripening of the fruits. So how do we prune tomato plants? Well, that depends on how you like to support your plants. I generally either use stakes or string and allow two main stems to develop. Stem one is the main stem. Stem two is the sucker that develops just below the first flower cluster. This is typically a very vigorous sucker and makes an ideal stem number two. Once that sucker has developed, pinch out all the other suckers. When small, they can be pinched by hand. If you wait too long, however, it's best to use clean garden snips or shears. I try to stay on top of pruning and take out new suckers every seven to 10 days. You don't have to stick to a two stem pruning system. You can allow three, four or five stems to develop as long as they're all supported and the subsequent suckers are then pinched out. Gardeners who use heavy duty tomato cages, tomato towers or trellises often allow more than two stems to grow as those plants are well supported. One more type of pruning that I do to my tomato plants is to remove the lower leaves as the plants grow. The bottom leaves, which are often lying on the soil surface, are more prone to soil-borne diseases and removing them can slow the spread of these diseases or reduce their occurrence. 